MWC 22, Barcelona from Fujitsu. And as uh, day one gets underway and the excitement builds, crowds of people flocking into the show. Let's talk to Rob Hughes, uh, who is head of wireless uh, marketing for Fujitsu. I have to say, first of all, there's been such a break with M MWC not happening, and it is. How exciting is that for you? Oh, it's fantastic. You know, we've uh, it's a really exciting time to be here. I've already seen many new friends uh, come come back from, from before, and uh, it's a great opportunity to uh, to catch up with friends and, and introduce them to some of the new things that we're working on. And already people coming onto the Fujitsu stand, which looks great, yeah. and is what, what do you think the particularly interesting areas are of, of what Fujitsu is showing here? That's probably quite hard to answer. Well, you know, since the last time we had Mobile World Congress, uh, there's been a lot of exciting things happening. A number of open RAN uh, deployments have happened around the world. There are a lot of operators who have already deployed it, and we're going to be sharing a little bit about some of the technologies that we've helped them use uh, to, to, to make those deployments, uh, as well as a number of things we're doing with private 5G as well. So there's a lot to see here. Okay, tell us a little bit about that. How is open RAN um, changing the, the economics, really, of wireless networks? Yeah, that's uh, it's a very good point. There's, um, there's three main ways that we're we're improving the the economics of wireless. Uh, number one is through the use of generic hardware. So um, I think Accenture found that people could save up to 49% of capex. Uh, by deploying commercial off-the-shelf solutions. So that's taking hardware that's designed for web scalers that's just generic and getting the economies of scale from that. Um, now that itself is not unique to Open RAN, uh, but with Open RAN you also have the benefit of getting extra competition. So you're encouraging competition between people because you're not locked into one solution. And then finally, uh, the one that's hardest to quantify, but which I think is, is perhaps the most valuable, is the flexibility you get. You know, in a traditional RAN network, once you deploy that network, you're locked into that vendor for quite some time. With Open RAN, you have the ability to mix and match components from different vendors. So if some new innovation comes up, you've got the ability to take advantage of it right away. 